any great achievement, there is joy and gladness. This special song is a gift to our generation. The world who conceived this university on the hills and valley of Aqua but the farm. He that dwells with wisdom is prudent. He's found knowledge and discretion. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Pride and arrogance are wrong ingredients for knowledge. With wisdom, kings reign and rulers decree justice. Be diligent, sober, and dedicated, for wisdom and knowledge are better than silver and gold. On your gift, I can't do fun. Mom, Viva, it's not a bad kid, but Uncom, kid, you don't have to sound, you won't kid. At the Ubong, Ubong, and yet to look back. On your gift, you're a quiet dog, a woman bar, on Uncorea Edward. Wisdom and knowledge are partners in progress. Both of them are similar in nature. They work in unity. In togetherness, they move mountains. Wisdom and knowledge are like a cedar tree. With their branches spread out, nourish the crops with their leaves. Wisdom and knowledge. the head of service of the Federation to take charge of this part of the program. May I also invite my royal father, his eminence, the other of Kalabasa. Daddy, we know you won't like to leave that state, but this is so symbolic, sir. When the other one is here, our mama must be here to represent the women home. Put your hands together for Senator A big round of applause. Thank you so much, Mom. It is also my pleasure to recognize and invite the Consul General of Equatorial Guinea representing the Diplomatic Corps, His Excellency Joan Mariana Antonio. Thank you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I have an inexhaustible list. I can see this. 
Africa, we forgot our history. And that's why I was so happy when our MC talked about history. You recall very well that Calabar was known for education, missionary education. Some of the best schools, missionary schools, are here in this, in this uh, area, Calabar and you know, Cross River as a whole. We had people like Kanda Zikwe, the school here, the later general of the school, the school in Bokoto. These were people that came out of schools here in Calabar. So what happened? Somewhere along the line, we forgot. We forgot our past. We forgot our history. But today we have a young man who remembers history. Nigeria, 
formerly announced the realization of the dream, the lofty dream of one man, Otto Jervis Danachi, to mold the future of several generations. He left the security, comfort, and prospects of a rewarding career with the Nigerian customs for this great leap of faith. As the proprietor of the first private university in Prospect State, you have not only made history for yourself, but preserved the name of a truly illustrious family. You are doggedness, and the use to which you have put your inheritance and the inestimable value you have added to it should be enduring lessons to all. I pray that this young university will in no time gain global recognition and will be a citizen indeed of learning, impacting knowledge, and molding the character of our young people from today and tomorrow's competitive world. Our youth remain our greatest resource and will remain the resource only if they are educated. As we embark on this journey into excellence, I assure you of my support in every way and everywhere, and in every way and every capacity. On behalf of myself, my family, and the board and management of the Niger Delta Development Commission, I convey our best wishes and offer a hand in partnership. We pray that you will eventually produce graduates who create wealth and opportunities. Congratulations, Senator Victor Nome, SA. The team is my privilege to invite to the podium a woman who has represented us at the national level very well a former senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, representing the Southern Senatorial District, former member of representatives, and of course, the former special serving the president of the National Assembly Matters, the first woman to hold that position, and a woman that was conferred with a just title in a very wonderful ceremony at the Obama Council as the Kaiban. That is the Queen Mother of the Indo. Ladies, gentlemen, may I respectfully invite Dame, Senator, Doctor, Princess, Florence, Itagiwa, Oko, and to please present a good message. Thank you very much, Shimon, for today. And as I do so, I will sign up on the existing protocol, but I will then especially thank God for the presence and life of our father, the Lord of Canada, and of course, my daughter, whom I'm permanently proud of, the first epic woman. And indeed, woman to hold that position from this area, the secretary to the federal government of Nigeria, this is very federal later. I am really, really overwhelmed by what I'm seeing here today. I want to thank God for this young son of Effie Kingdom. I want to thank God for the son of a great man, the late Brigadier Dan Archibald, who modernized in his short period as governor of Brussels State. He tried to modernize Canada as it is today. The impact he made. And I always say that penalty is very, very important. Because the problem we have in this country today is that we have people coming up to the position of leadership with absolutely no pedigree. It is that upbringing that has encouraged 
as a journalist to establish this institution. The day he invited me to come and see this place, I became very, very emotional because I could not believe that an ethics form can come up with such a huge project. And most importantly, a project that will impact on the lives of Nigeria and cross the state because today education is the most important thing that anybody can provide. <coughs> Here in this university, as a journalist, we are going to produce more female and male senators. We are going to produce by the grace of God, the first president of this country from this area with the major of this university. And of course, I'm a doctor and I'm an intellectual. Because there's nothing else you can do. I'm very, very proud because what I'm unable to do is somebody has done it. I'm very, very proud. I'm proud of the fact that it is in every kingdom. I'm proud of the fact that you found your way. I know how difficult it would have been for you. And I know how difficult it is. I know the stress. I know the capital involvement for you to open up, open up this forest, open up this place, and come and establish this amazing university. All I can say is that may God bless you. All I can pray as a mother to is that may every product out of this project come out successfully. And as my daughter said, May you always ensure the presence of God in this institution. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity and God bless you all. May I hand over the microphone to my Lord, Honorable Justice Charles Ifanga Achibo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All that I have to be positively observed. This is supposed to be a goodwill mission. On behalf of our family, the final film family, the office, uh, sorry, the family of the people, Mercy Farah and Chizong, the family of Dan Patrick Archison. We are very proud. We are very happy. This university is the product of a very lonely journey of a determined young man. You know, pregnancies generally last nine months. Those nine months, while everybody is looking on, the mother labors alone. And it's a journey that is not as short of success. It could be still born. There could be disease. There could be famine. There could be war. But, Faith is what sustains a journey like this. Jarvis is a product of goodwill. The goodwill of our family, the goodwill of the two of ours, of our archival, the goodwill of the uh, beginner general. The good will of the stepmom, Mount Flores, Achiba. The good will of his uncles and his immediate family, aunties and immediate family. Good will produces a loss, and we need more of it in our communities. We must encourage the talented creative, innovative, and hard-working among us. 
and you must start them up at every stage. When we have that, we will have more and more to rejoice. And we know that this event, apart from producing the senators, will produce the scientists we need. We will produce the entrepreneurs we need, digital entrepreneurs we need. We will produce the agriculturists we need. And we will produce practitioners of all the medical technologies that give life quality and meaning. Jarvis will do, you have done very well, and we know you will do better. God bless you. So I'm going to invite one wonderful woman shortly, but before I do that, may I please recognize and welcome His Excellency, Mr. Ethiop Hobble, the immediate past Deputy Governor of Post Real Estate, to welcome sir. Thank you so much. May I also Revival Valley Ministries. It is my pleasure. Please put your hands together for them. It is my pleasure to also recognize Chief Victor Ephil, a veteran of the public relations and journalism profession. Please give him a big round of applause. Your Excellencies, Prince Dan Achiba. But I will not ignore to recognize the honor of Calaba in our presence. I did it. So, so, I call it so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it would not be proper if I don't make a statement or a speech the occasion like this. To begin with, I want to give all the glory to the Lord Almighty who has made this day, who has kept me alive to witness this day. I want to thank God that even though I was referred to as a stepmother, I'm not a stepmother, I'm a mother. For giving me the children that has come out to be what I am proud of and what the society has, is proud of. And one of them happens to be Afro Jazz. It's my son. The day, the time we got this black, this land. It was like, what are we doing here in the midst of the forest? I remember I asked my dead husband, I said, Dan, what are we doing here in this bush? I wasn't happy when we started the house back then. And he said to me, Flo, I want when I retire from service, I want to make this place my home. And it's going to be like a farmhouse, like what Bassett John is doing in Ontario. And he said to me, by the time I'm done, I will retire here. And anybody who comes in here will to see me, I will really know that the person loves me. For those of you who know who knew Dan, he was a very humble man. And I want to stand here to declare that. The Bible says that it is appointed to man to die once. After that is judgment. If it is possible for that to come back in the next generation, I will still marry that actually. an agreed agricultural farm. We started by Kanapu, for those, the Eternal family, they are all here, so, some of them who were there. We started with plantation with the pineapple. 
we went into the oil palm plantation and we went to big green poultry lemons. We had everything that you refer to agree. But as God would have it, God decided to take me away because I believe that God had a plan for this place. All that we were planning, we were planning like man. But God has a better plan for this place. And this is the plan of God that has come to the place. When my son approached me and said, Mommy, I want to start a secondary school in this place. I said, no problem, there is no problem. Please bear with me, I just want to give us a brief history. We came here and we started this place and, you know, my son has been working and working and working. And God, the God that he is, has given him the grace and the ability to come to do what we have seen today. And I don't want to attribute this to anybody. The help from, came from God. It is only the Lord that has given him the ability. And I will return all the glory. Because if you ask, where does he get this energy from? Where does he get this ability from? You will never explain. But it is only God who has given him this ability. And I stand here and pray as a mother and declare that what we have seen today is just the beginning. will go to places, it will become an international institution. And the Lord God Almighty will keep him alive. And he will not die. He will be free. What his father could not accomplish, he has accomplished and he will accomplish the more. And I know that that Archibald today is smiling. He's smiling. I know he's smiling. And I thank you all for coming, and I thank God that, please God, all of us, please, let's continue to pray for him, for long life, for good health, for everything that he needs, all the assistance that he needs, it comes from God, that please, God should continue to be with him, and the students, God will protect you all, Amen. nothing will happen to you all, Amen. you will study and you will excel in your studies. Amen. As my sister has said it, you will become the president, you will become the, pre the governor, and by the time you graduate from this institution, you will be great and great citizens of this country. Amen. May God bless all of us. And thank you. Thank you very much. Wonderful goodwill message by Her Excellency, Mrs. Florence Dan Achibo. To please step forward and present the very last goodwill message for today. Please give our prop a resounding round of applause. Your Excellencies, Yukon Calabar, Chairman God of Churches. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, staff and students of the Jarvis University, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I will read a short little message from Christie University. But let me just say a few words before I read the text of the little message. At the Jarvis University was licensed the same day as Cool City University. And we are bound to support ourselves and companions as we move along. I listened to many who spoke, and just as much as you're starting, made a point to say this is pregnancy for many years. I dare add that nine months, but at that night, after nine months, when the death of the baby comes, the baby belongs to everyone. And like 
the abuses have been made, I invite everyone to bring their baby milk, baby shoes, baby dresses. Because after Javis University, is a child that needs to be taken care of by everyone. But soon after, we grow into adulthood and we'll take care of everyone. And now we the text of message from Christian University. This is a congratulatory and good message to the Board of Trustees, Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Pro Chancellor, Senate, Management Staff and Students of Arthur Javis University, Kapabu Yokalaba. The Vice Chancellor of Christian University, on behalf of the Chancellor, Board of Trustees, the Governing Council, Management Staff and Students of Christian University, felicitates with the Board of Trustees, the Chancellor, the Post Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Senate Management Staff and Students of Atajabes University, and her official opening and maiden matriculation ceremony. Kusit University shares joy and a enriching sense of fulfillment of Atajabes University, which can naturally associate with the magnitude of such milestone celebration as the official opening and formal admission of her first set of students following her licensing as a private university in Nigeria. As you open the door of knowledge and understanding to deserving men and women, Kusit University wishes you great strides in developing and enhancing the endless potentials of the use of this great nation, the African continent, and the global community. Congratulations once again. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. May I also thank you very much, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Vice Chancellor of Kwa, George. He is the Grand President, St. John's International, or Harcourt Commandery. is also here with other officers. Please can we give them a big round of applause? <laughs> it is also my pleasure to recognize and welcome classmates of Sir Arthur Jarvis Achigo at the Nigerian Military School, Zaria. Please, if you are here, we are standing for recognition. Please let's give them a big round of applause. Welcome Colonel Rindun Ahadji Dauda Danjima and Bishop Itwen. You're welcome. 